Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Pele, Goddess of Volcanoes. From the very heart of creation, fire comes. Flame, that oldest agent of destruction, erupting forth to scour all in its path. But this is no natural fire. This is a goddess. This is Pele. And yet, like fire, Pele has the power not only to destroy, but also to create. For eons the story has been told, passed from one generation to the next, of how Pele brought the land into being, forming it up from the seas to build a home for her people. People who offer their love and sacrifice to her, knowing that she will protect them in times of great strife and rebuild what has been lost. After countless ages away, Pele once more has emerged to walk the mortal world. Woe to any who seek to test the goddess's fire. And to those under her protection, your salvation has arrived. When Pele starts taking too much damage and drops low on health, she gains a buff of physical power, lifesteal, and ability lifesteal. This buff lasts a few seconds and can only be triggered once every 30 seconds. Pele flourishes and fires out a magma orb ahead of her, dealing damage to enemies hit. Once the projectile reaches a maximum distance, it hovers for a moment and solidifies, returning back to her in damaging fragments. With each rank of this ability, Pyroclast is enhanced the number of shards that return back to Pele. Pele erupts in a fiery torrent, dealing damage and knocking up enemies close to her. At ranks three and five, eruption grows in size, dealing damage and knocking up enemies in two further outward circles at a delay. The damage and knockup on these outer circles are lower than that of the inner. Pele starts to churn the land around her, moving faster and dealing damage to enemies in a close vicinity. Unique to this ability, Magma Rush uses a fuel gauge as seen in the passive meter. As this ability is used, more fuel is expended. Upon a second fire of this ability, Magma Rush goes into an amplified state, dealing increased damage and also providing extra movement speed at the cost of even more fuel. Pele can attack and use other abilities while Magma Rush is on. After a channeling warm-up, Pele quickly dashes forward, dealing massive damage and a slow to the first enemy god hit, also dealing additional damage to enemies behind the original target in a cone. For a small duration afterwards, Pele gains additional cone hits based on the next target she attacks. Getting close to an enemy and triggering eruption, and then following it up with pyroclast, Pele will knock up an enemy and hit them with a barrage of magma and obsidian, dealing devastating damage. Pele can utilize this combo after reaching level two, and with extra ranks of pyroclast, the damage only increases. Starting with the original combo of eruption, followed by Pyroclast, allows Pele to start the fight dealing a crushing blow to the enemy's health bar. If this is not enough, Pele can start chasing down the enemy with Magma Rush active, dealing damage around her and finally following it up with an additional Pyroclast. This ability combo starts with Pele utilizing Magma Rush to start getting close to the enemy. Once in range, Volcanic Lightning closes in the final distance, dealing massive initial damage to the enemy and anyone that happens to be behind them. Triggering a quick eruption allows Pele to disrupt the enemy further while getting additional cone hits from Volcanic Lightning. No one escapes Pele's fury, and a cast or two of Pyroclast will finish the job. Pele is a unique and fiery assassin that evolves and enhances as she gains levels and extra ranks of her abilities. Pyroclast having a relatively short cooldown and multiple charges means that Pele can fire off several projectiles in succession for tons of damage or separate them for a slower, more controlled burn. Eruption starts off as a close range, high damaging knockup, which is great to focus in on a target. As this ability ranks up, it still maintains its original use, but also brings extra utility as a small zoning tool for awaiting foes in a team fight. 
Magma Rush allows Pele to dictate how fast she wants to get somewhere and is a great tool in navigating the battlefield. By just utilizing this ability, Pele can keep a constant moving pace and in a team fight, she can expend more fuel to deal out a lot of quick damage. Volcanic Lightning, Pele's ultimate, is the culmination of her kit, starting with a fast dash and followed by shocking damage to the enemy team. Pele also gains extra cone attacks after the dash, and in the late game, this can really bring up the heat. Finally, Everlasting Flame provides Pele with an opportunity to turn the tide of a fight if she ever gets low on health. Pair her with gods that help bring the aggression and control to a fight, like Athena, Isis, and Odin. For Pele's ability order, you will want to begin with Pyroclast. This ability provides you early jungle clear, and you will definitely want to get the extra benefits of ranking this ability as fast as possible. Your next point will be Eruption, which gives Pele control in ganks and an easy combo. By using the two abilities together, you can turn up the heat on the enemy, especially if you have a second charge ready of Pyroclast. Leveling Magma Rush 3rd gives Pele the options she needs in the form of constant extra speed to get to gank opportunities, as well as a quick burn for extra damage. From here, you will want to follow the ability priority of Volcanic Lightning, Pyroclast, Eruption, and finally, Magma Rush. Pele's build should focus on high power and penetration to allow her to get into a fight and deal a lot of quick damage. Pele does not excel when it comes to prolonged fights. However, once her passive Everlasting Flame is triggered, she can be a fiery force to be reckoned with. Begin with Assassin's Blessing and Mace with a few potions. Pele has a decently strong jungle clear with two charges on Pyroclast, and using these effectively will be the key to bolstering her early game. By going for Warrior Tabby early, Pele will be able to maneuver even faster across the battlefield. And, in conjunction with Magma Rush, the enemies won't know what hit them. Pick up Jotun's Wrath to gain a plethora of useful stats in the form of cooldown reduction, power, and penetration. Next, you will want to focus on transitioning her into a heavy damage-dealing assassin for the mid-game. The Crusher provides Pele with even more quick offensive power, while Magi's Cloak and Stone Cutting Sword help round out her item kit to make sure she can get in, get a kill, and get out. Finally, round out your build by switching out Assassin's Blessing with Titan's Bane. The extra power and penetration does wonders for her and will bring fear into the heart of her foes. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Pele, goddess of volcanoes.